So we want to first of all be sure to pick up a bulletin on your way out. There's always good information in there. And so please take that home and remain connected, especially those of you who are visiting with us today. Go ahead and pick one up. We have fun. The bulletin, let's see, there are three evenings of the following week, August 15, 16, and 17. We will be needing help as much as we can get to move everything out of our activity building to prepare for the upcoming renovation. It's on us now. It's time to happen. This will happen and start at 6.30 p.m. every evening, so show up, be ready to work, and we'll get it done. Also, please see our bulletin for the details regarding the upcoming celebration for Bishop Gatos. This celebration will be on Sunday, August 16th at 3 p.m. in the Cathedral in Jefferson City. This feast of the, of the Transfiguration, which often falls on a weekday, happens to fall on a weekend this year. Celebrating the Transfiguration at a point that comes halfway through the ordinary time grants us a moment of enlightenment when we see Jesus clearly in all his glory and hear God clearly tell us who Jesus is. This is my beloved Son. The scripture readings are found in the Blue Gathered Hymnal beginning with number 1204, 1204. To help you participate more fully in the liturgy, the numbers on the left side of the hymn board opposite myself are the numbers for the hymns, and the numbers on the right side are the for the sun parts of our Mass. And the Mass intention for this afternoon is for the repose of the soul of Gloria Calab, or Caltech. Please, Please check to make sure that all cell phones are silent. And at this time, we ask that you stand and remain standing as you greet those around you. And please join in singing our opening hymn number 859, God of Day and God of Darkness.
We were sent to heal the transpired of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In vain we call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. We for us now at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on all of us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting.
clouds of heaven. When he reached the Ancient One and was presented before him, the one like the Son of Man received dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples, nations, and languages serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus took Peter, 
James, and John, and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no fuller on earth could bleach them. Then Elijah appeared to them, along with Moses, and they were conversing with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He hardly knew what to say, he was so terrified. Then a cloud came, casting a shadow over them. From the cloud came a voice, This is my beloved son, listen to him. Suddenly, looking around, they no longer saw anyone but Jesus alone with them. As they were coming down from the mountain, he charged them not to relate what they had seen to anyone except when the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning, but rising from the dead met. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Peter calls it to mind, an unforgettable experience. 
even to the point where he quotes uh, God's saying, this is my beloved son, listen to him. Words that he could not forget. In any event, the piece of the transfiguration, as I say, also calls to mind other things that happen in our lives that are real life, reality. Those mountaintop experiences last for a short time, but some of the other experiences linger on. And so what are they? We have highs and lows in life. I already mentioned times of joy, but we also have times of sorrow. And so what do we have in the story? We have Peter, James, and John up there on the mountainside seeing Moses and Elijah, who I've never seen before. And so I comment on that in my, uh, from the pastor's column in the bulletin. You can take it home and read it. But um, two people they've never seen, they've read about, they've heard about, but they've never seen in person. And yet they recognize Moses and they recognize Elijah standing next to Jesus conversing with them. But they're so happy that, as uh, Peter suggests, they want to build something for them to stay in for a good long while. And so, Rabbi, it's good for us to be here. Let us make three tents. One for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. So they want to stay there for a good long while. And yet, what happens? Eventually, the voice uh, disappears, the cloud disappears, and they have to return to Jerusalem. And they have been hearing Jesus tell them what's awaiting them in Jerusalem. Death. They don't understand it, but they know that's what awaits them. And then little by little, it is revealed to them that's what awaits them as well. And so they're coming down off the mountain to real life. And that's where we can relate to this story. So much of our life is made up of highs and lows joys and sorrows, successes and failures, hopes and disappointments, receiving kindness, receiving meanness, trusting in God, not trusting in God, loving God, being angry at God, loving family, being angry at family. Our life is made up of these two extremes and everything in between. And we hope that the heaven that awaits us, that is promised us for those who believe in Jesus, because we come and receive in the Holy Communion, the heaven that awaits us is all of those highs and joys and successes and hopes and kindnesses and love that we experience to its fullest, to their fullest. We, hear, we experience that on into eternity. But until we get there, we need to know that Jesus is still with us, as he was with Peter, James, and John. And so we also remember other words that were said by Jesus, the Son of God, before he ascended into heaven. I will never leave you orphan. I will be with you to the end of the age. We, never, we need to remember that whenever we experience the lows, the sorrows, the failures, the disappointments, the meanness, feeling distrust of God, anger towards God, or anger towards others, we need to know that Jesus is still with us even in those difficult times. And most especially when we hear the words, this is my body, this is my body. Together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father in all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten.
He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to the judgment of the dead and is seeking what happened to him. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection day, life and the world of God. Amen. And so we take a moment to lift up these special petitions on behalf of our community. And as well, many of them are silent in our hearts at this moment. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For a deepening of faith in God's church, that our eyes and hearts may be opened to new understandings of Jesus as both the glorious Son of God and the suffering Son of Man, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us, as members of Sacred Heart, that we might be open to new ways to build and grow our faith community, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. That the sign of hope given in the Transfiguration may remind us to be signs of hope to those who suffer from poverty, war, discrimination, and all forms of injustice. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that the healing presence of Christ will bring comfort to the sick, homebound, and elderly frail of our parish. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, for all deceased members of our parish family, that all the souls of the faithful departed may rest in peace. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, and we pray also for all those who have asked us to remember them in prayer for particular reasons. And we pray for our men and women serving in the military, especially those deployed overseas, for their safety and protection. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. We pray, we pray in thanksgiving for the recent rains that we have received. We pray for those who might have experienced some flooding for quick recovery. And we also still pray for the many, particularly our farmers, who still need much moisture for their crops. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear we come before you, Heavenly Father, with these petitions, and as well the many that are assigned in our hearts, lifting them up to you to the intercession of Moses and Elijah, but most especially your Son, Jesus, all who now live in risen glory with you forever and ever. Amen.
Please pray my brothers and sisters in my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. The praise of the Lord is seen. Our Lord, we Sanctify, O Lord, we pray these offerings here made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son. And by his radiant splendor, cleanse us from the stains of sin through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Lift it is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Heavenly Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus our Lord. For Jesus revealed his glory in the presence of chosen witnesses and filled with the greatest splendor that bodily form which he shares with all humanity, that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of his disciples, and that he might show how in the body of the whole church is to be fulfilled what so wonderfully shone forth first in his head. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Church, in which, 
we show forth the past the sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son, and confirm us in the bond of communion. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, with all other bishops, with priests and deacons, and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the Gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all your people, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of the kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the men whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is death, that we may come to the eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
the humble Lamb of God, the whole thing that takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, <laughs> The body of Christ. The blood of Christ.
Let us pray. May the heavenly encouragement we have received, O oh Lord, we pray, transform us into the likeness of your Son, whose radiant splendor you will to make manifest in his glorious transfiguration, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Let us go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.